Okay, let's see if the what? This thing won't shut off. What's going on here? Look at that. I got the key out and it still won't shut off. Oh no, I'm going to have to go up and get in the engine compartment and use that emergency shut off. Come on. Ah. From the late 1970s right up to the mid 1990s, Mercedes Benz used vacuum to shut off the diesel engine. And some people don't know that, especially if they're new to diesels. And that can be very frustrating because you're turning your key off and if you're used to gasoline cars, you're saying, come on, I'm turning the key off, the engine won't quit. Well, it's not electrically controlled. The vacuum has to manipulate a valve which shuts off the fuel and that's what turns off a diesel engine. So in order to fix this problem, if this is something you're dealing with on your own diesel, you're going to need a complete understanding of your vacuum system and how to troubleshoot to make sure you're getting proper vacuum to that valve that shuts the fuel off and you're going to have to find out whether or not the valve is bad or good or whatever is going on. I offer a number of resources on my website which will help you to troubleshoot the vacuum system in your car as well as to troubleshoot the valve and replace it yourself. Even though that's a little bit of a pain, you should be happy that the engineers put an emergency shutoff on these older diesel engines. So no matter what's happening with your vacuum system, at least you can get out and shut the engine off. On the newer 60X engines produced from 1984 up to the mid-1990s, the lever is located on the pump right below the shutoff valves you can see here. On the earlier 61X engines, the lever is located on the throttle linkage which is located above the pump that you can see here. You need to push fully down on the lever to stop the engine. Once it stopped you can release it and it should come back. And don't forget, get in the car and turn that key off or you'll have a dead battery.